si Damaso ang pagsapit ng kanyang kamatayan. Tiyak po yun. Bawat isa nagdasal din naman. At gaya ng siyang tinuturo sa atin sa pananampalataya kapag tayo ay hindi handa, kapag tayo ay natagpuan ng Panginoong hindi karapat dapat sa kanya, alam natin kung anong mangyayari. Hindi tayo magiging karapat-dapat sa lahat. Isa loob natin na ito po yung pinakamaganda at kaya natin ibigay ngayon sa kapatid natin si Damaso. challenging call of the Lord. How can I say goodbye to a person who is so close to me? God wants us to be happy. And the secret to happiness is learning to say goodbye. People who never learn to say goodbye can never be happy for the rest of their lives. 
happiness is letting go happiness is saying goodbye how can we say goodbye to daddy dad who is very loving to you especially the family the umbrae family i've been witness to this because we're together a very good holy faithful husband and father a prayerful one yung bang parang sa pag-alis niya ngayon tayo ay napilaya parang ayaw na natin tumayo parang ayaw nating magpatuloy sapagkat nawala ang isa sa pinaka haligi ng tahanan and now at this time daddy dan is saying goodbye to you and then daddy dan is also inviting us please say goodbye to me too hindi ako mawawala lilipat lang sa kabila kaya ang pumapanaw suma sa kabilang buhay Napakahalaga nung pagkakataon nang namit ko si Daddy Damaso. Doon sa Second Holy Land. The First Holy Land, sa pinanganak si Jesus. The Second Holy Land, kung nasan yung White Oak. At isa sa pinakamahalaga dahil sa harap na isang ministro, sa harap na isang pari, kanilang inirinyo ang kanilang pagmamahal. Kaya narito tayo para sabihin natin kay Mary Ann, kay Mommy Baby, na hindi ka nag-iisa. Your angel one, you're the only one angel in your life, Daddy Damaso, is now in heaven. Si Damaso ay nauna na isusunod ka na. And that is a reality. And the thing is, we do not know when. So I hope that we can be like Boy Scouts, whose motto is, Laging handa, always prepared. Be prepared. And what will you prepare? Your coffin, your urn, your columbarium? No. More than that, prepare that life of yours 
that when that life of yours meet the Creator and Father, He will smile at you and say, You have lived a good life. Come and receive your reward. When you serve others, that is the payment or the rent that you pay is staying in this world. So if there is one great charity and pabaod that you should give those who die, it will be your prayers, especially to offer them the Holy Mass. Totoong masakit na mawala ng ama. Totoong masakit na mawala ng asawa. Totoong masakit na kapag nawala ang haligi ng tahanan na pipilay tayo. At ang totoo, malungkot kayo. Ang totoo, Oo, nasasaktan kayo. Ang totoo, umiiyak tayo. Huwag kang tataka sa sakit na ito. Huwag kang tataka sa, sa pag-iyak at kalungkutan. Stay for a while. But awake. Do not run away from the experience. This is very important. Are you expecting that pain is not part of life? That we can be liberated from the pain by the Lord? He did not promise that. Hindi niya ipinangako na tatanggalin niya ang sakit. Ang ipinangako niya ay sasama siya, kasama natin siya sa anumang sakit na ating mararanasan. God did not come to remove suffering. He did not come even to explain why is there suffering. But God came to feel suffering with His presence. In moments of laughter and tears, misery and joy, life and death, God is present. Even in the death of Daddy Dan, He is present. Thank you, Daddy Dan. Thank you, Damaso. Thank you, our friends. And then, with that gratefulness and heart, you will hear the gentle voice of our loving God. You are most welcome in my heart. Si Daddy Dan, nasa puso ng Diyos. Si Daddy Dan, nasa langit. Kasi... Mahal siya ni Jesus. At anong katumbas ng pag-ibig ni Jesus? Ang buhay na inialay ng Diyos. Dahil sa pagmamahal ng Diyos, si Daddy Dan, may buhay na walang hanggang. So